how to use doink. So to use doink, do a search instead of looking through all the apps for doink. By the time you type DOI, it should show up. It's like that uh, pink octopus icon that gets you to the program. Now if it starts on somebody else's, tap the brush there and go to the folder. That always gets you out of the one you're on and it saves it automatically. So it's automatically saved. In order to start a new one, tap the plus and go to new drawing sequence. Tapping on the brush brings you to all the tools you need. So you've got right now one frame right here. This is like making a flipbook animation, so you need multiple frames with a different action drawn on each one to get it to move. So if I draw, oh, I don't need white, I'm going to pick a different color, I can make my brush size smaller, and you can play around with these tools and find out how to do different things. Also this one will undo what you just did, so you can undo and redo. I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to draw a person standing, and that's my first frame. Now to get another frame, I do plus. See how it shows me what the other one looked like? So I can draw the person almost exactly like my original person, only moving a little bit different. And I'm going to draw another one. There. Now I've drawn three different ones, so when I play this, my person moves. Now he's moving awfully fast, isn't he? In order to slow this down, I've got some features that when I tap and hold, I get cut, copy, delete, and duplicate. I can duplicate one, and it duplicates it exactly like it was. So if I duplicate each one a few times, that has the effect of repeating it, so it slows it down. Now when I play it, he's moving a lot slower. So I'm going to say I'm done with that one. I tap here, go to the folder, it is complete. I can um, name it so that other people don't mess with my work, and please don't go into anybody else's work ever. We should all have the right to have our work not be messed with. But when I'm done, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to export to saved photos. I want the highest resolution, which is 1024 times 768, uh, and I'm going to export the movie. Let it do its thing. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to double tap. Oh, it's not here. Oh, it told me the movie was exported to your saved photo album. That's what we want. So now I gotta go to my photo album. Go to photos, find your new drawing, tap on it to select it, and then you're going to go up here to the arrow and you're going to send to YouTube. Now the only account we have in class that can use YouTube is G1. So you're going to use the G1 information. Once you sign in to G1, you're going to have to fill all this out. You have to title it. You have to give a description. And the more detailed you are in your description, the better. But I'm just going to keep it short for purposes of this movie. Tag it. I always tag it with education. And when it's science, I, I also tag it with science. But you do have to tag it with at least science so that um, it'll let you do that. Category, please pick education. And then it should be public because we want to put it on our blog. So we're going to publish that. Now down here, it's telling you um, that it's publishing it. Once it's published, it'll say person published. We have to go view it on YouTube. Now we need to get the embed code to put it on our blog. So I'm going to find mine. And yours might take a little longer to be ready. See, it'll say video not available because it's processing. So we'll try again uh, later. We'll keep checking it. I'm going to use somebody else's. So let's say this is my video. I'm going to go to the share 
and I'm gonna say mail link to this video and I'm not really gonna mail it but I want this URL right there so I'm gonna go tap here tap again select go to the beginning of the URL go to the end of the URL and I'm gonna copy that cancel and delete draft please we don't need uh, all this stuff everywhere then I'm gonna to go to Safari and I'm gonna to go to the Moodle <clears throat> and you can go to 6th or 8th grade it'll be on both of them we want to find a place where we can do the embed code and I have it right here it's called YouTube embed code generator YouTube embed code generator okay and what that does is that's going to allow us to get a YouTube embed code so here's what I want to do I'm gonna paste my link right there so I tap then I tap and hold paste 475 is a good size and I'm gonna uncheck that and then tap generate you got four boxes go to the first box the first box is all you need tap once then tap and hold select all copy that you're gonna paste into your blog paste it into the text not the graphical interface and that's how you put uh, a do ink onto your blog so watching this tutorial you've learned how to create a do ink and put it on your blog good luck and happy animating